You're not really how I imagine an art critic would look. Can't tell me you never wanted to paint. <laughs> Seriously, what did you want to be when you were a kid? Well, I was never a kid. You're one of those. On the wedge. A liar. Yeah. Congratulations on the movie, guys. I often feel like making a movie is like solving a jigsaw puzzle where the pieces have to come together to fit perfectly to create this piece of art. But you could also say it's like painting a canvas where the canvas is the script and the director brings together the actors and the other elements to create this wonderful piece of art. Would you agree? Yes, you can say that. I mean, it's teamwork. Mm -hmm. um, in this case of the film, maybe in the case of the painting, is more... Um, um, but it person. is bringing, I mean, all these components together. Ingredients, mm. yeah. yeah. And it is, yeah, definitely. Did you guys know much about this fascinating and intriguing world of art before you signed on for this project? I did a film called The Square mm -hmm. uh, before that, and that is set in the art world too, and I did so much research for that, which was very helpful, obviously, mm -hmm. for this one. Um, and, and then I think you and I are both art buffs, aren't yeah. we? We yeah, really yeah. enjoy going to museums and, and exhibitions yeah. and all that. So, I mean, the art world as aspect of it was something that was, I think, both of us sort of had an eye. Yeah, yeah felt I quite mean, close to it. But it's, you know, this film itself, it's not a satire of the mm. art world. No. It's, uh, it's a thriller at the mm -hmm. end of the day. It should be fun to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something going on. Uh, and the fact that it's set in the art world, it just gives another layer of mm. You know, beauty. Can you talk a little bit about why the location was changed from the original in the book to Lake Como? Well, the novel was set in Florida and in Palm Beach, mm -hmm. and uh, for logistic reasons, because it's not very easy to shoot in Palm Beach nowadays. You know, with yes. Trump there, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also because I'm Italian, so <laughs> I thought that the uh, the location of the Lake Como would have matched the um, you know sophistication of the dialogues mm -hmm. and the characters and also gives the film uh, a moodier, darker atmosphere somehow. Oh yes, I love that, it's exquisite. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I really enjoyed where it was set in the cinematography. It was brilliant. Thanks. You have an incredible cast in this movie. Uh, you've also got an Australian, Elizabeth Debicki, and Donald Sutherland, Mick Jagger, who hasn't been in a movie for quite some time. What was it like working with Mick? It was just like working with Claes or Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. You know, on set is just like yep. any other actor. It's not Mick Jagger, the rock star. Um, it was very humble, no? Oh very my God, sweet. Yes, yeah. He just, I mean, you just had the feeling he just really wanted to do a good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean. Oh, he's a professional. Yeah, mm -hmm. really. And he was like super working with us. Yeah, I mean, near. I mean he, yeah. it's not that he sort of came, I'm just going to do it like this, and I'm, mm -hmm. he was like very. Team player. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Really totally. Was, yeah, so cool. Also, he was waking up quite early for him because you know usually he wakes up at midday and yeah. has lunch at four in the afternoon. Yes. But with us, he had to be on set in yeah. the morning. Yeah. So the first two minutes was very grumpy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then after yeah. the coffee, of course. Yeah. 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 What would you like audiences to take away from watching this movie? Well, I've, I've, I, I know this is probably slightly arrogant, but I, I, I we've done it. We've, we've told the story, and it's, it's not up to me to sort of mm -hmm. tell people what sh they should take away from it. Mm -hmm. I hope they enjoy it, yeah. and, but I think, I mean, once you've said what you want to say, you can't also come to people and say, now you have to experience it in this or that way. Mm -hmm. They can take, I mean, they should just do with it what they want. Yeah, but you can always hope that people will have fun, yeah. and, um, you know, maybe, you know, as they drive home, think a little about the, of the meaning of truth. Yeah, there is a, a, that whole thing of, of fucking with the truth. And, yeah. and yeah. I mean, an artwork. And how easy it is. Yeah. But it's also like, I mean, just to even think of an artwork as something that is just vaguely connected to the truth is weird. Because why would it be? It's just something perhaps on a wall and it, and it represents exactly the truth that you want to put into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, is not saying anything actually, it's saying what you wanted to say in exactly. a way. And and that is something that I think people tend to forget because they're so, whoa, does it is it saying something that I'm missing? Instead of just I mean trusting, okay, yes. this does absolutely nothing for me, I'll just leave it and do something else.
Well, thank you so much for yeah, your time. You. I really agree with that. We all interpret it differently. And yeah. with this movie, I feel like you could watch it over and over again and get something different each cool. time. Yeah, that'd be Many cool. layers. That'd be nice. That'd yes. be great. Thank what you. is this about? Redemption, embezzlement, and forgery. Kind of underhanded, don't you think? You know what we need to do. Most people are well, not what you'd expect. You know, don't you? They won't. It's true.